So I got this little decibel reader because I want to see a before and after with the sound deadening. So just idling here, it's around 72 decibels. So that's just idling. Well, I have no carpet right now, no anything extra. And I want to just get a few driving clips, see what it's like. sound deadening fixes is whenever I go over rocks and like little pebbles like this I cringe so bad driving with no bolt on the strut speedo says 70 91 decibels driver's side this is the passenger side this looks so good I love how this looks I can't get enough of it all right we're recording now I'm here with my cousin Chris he came from New Jersey and I want to give him a ride in the car and I also want to finish this video so just sitting here at idle the car is fully sound deaded now, it has a carpet, everything is in, and it's about 66 decibels, when before it was 72 decibels. So I'm just gonna give him a quick little ride. And trust me guys, I... Yeah. I learned my lesson from that spinning out video. All the haters talking about, he didn't learn his lesson because he's laughing. What do you want me to do, cry about it? It already happened, so I learned my lesson. It's been nine months since that happened now, and I've been driving how I drive with no problems, so I don't want to hear anything from anyone. It's behind us. You live and you learn. I learned very many valuable lessons during that. to 
drive every day because you just hear noises every day. Just... But the thing with the turbo cars, the nationally aspirated cars, you kind of like give it a little bit of throttle and then keep pushing it more and more and more and more just so it'll go like that. Yeah. On turbo cars, it builds up pressure the higher RPM goes. So you just hold it the same, like watch. I'll hold it at the same RPM right here. Look. That's literally. Decibel readings from before that I wrote down when I was editing because I want to try and replicate it as close as possible to what it actually was before because it'll mean nothing <laughs> the numbers will mean nothing if I don't have it before but I can tell you guys already just having the car sound editing and with a carpet in it is night and day difference editing in the video 
I was saying, I was like, yo, it's so loud inside the car, just it idling. So I'm sure you guys can hear the difference of how good it sounds now. Hopefully you guys can see this, but. It's a pretty good vibration too, which I'm sure that's making a lot of noise. seconds later he's not smiling obviously jackasses as if, <laughs> if the car is working if no situation is happening you can't have a there's no way you're in this car without a smile uh, <laughs> everyone was ragging on him for that I'm like yo you know what he means bitch <laughs> just driving it before I would have to be like yelling like yeah, yeah. like border it was uncomfortable because on the highway in fifth gear which is where that's the reason why i put all the testing in fifth gear because on the street you're not going really fast enough for it to be like oh my god it's so loud right. without sound deadening but after the sound deadening it makes it so on the highway it's so much nicer like you'd have to be borderline yelling yeah. and if the windows were down oh my you'd have to be like what what it's if there's music up. on no it's over like it's gonna sound horrible. And because of that, it makes it so much nicer. Like I can talk to you guys. We're going 35 right now. Yeah. And I'm in fourth gear, not even fifth gear. And you can hear me perfectly fine. He can yeah. hear me. I don't know if the mic can, but he can hear me perfectly fine and I don't have to yell at him. Which was the most annoying part about driving this car. I fully recommend doing this sound editing to anyone especially if you have no carpet and you plan on putting a carpet back in just do it now get it over with and you're gonna love it like it was like 35 pounds and the difference is mind-blowing like it's it's insane 35 pounds is it is so worth it this thank you guys so much for making it all the way through this video i really appreciate it so if you didn't get the message by now i fully recommend sound editing the whole car because the difference is night and day so if you have the ability to do it do it follow me on instagram right here at e30 joel stay up to date with everything that i'm doing and yeah thank you for watching